Here's to surviving wedding week. Yes. <coughs> and great friends for yes. a lifetime. Indeed. Indeed. It is. Uh, we are ready. to. We're rolling tape. And we've got uh, our first three uh, <laughs> panel here. Yes, we on did. the history of the show, at least as far as this angle of the show goes. I don't know. I guess the Manny and DWs count But that was on the road. That was on the road, so those weren't officially the podcast. So. Right. I'm exhausted as much as I am, I think, this week. Well, I've had a couple beach days. <laughs> well, I was on one of those beach days. You've had bad. I've you've had, had a couple two. beach days. You've had more beach days in the, this week than you've had in the past year, if you think about it. Yeah, yeah, and I've had I've had some girlfriend time. I mean, I was exhausted. What was it? Sunday night. Sunday night, we were tired. Sunday night, we had to leave. We had I've had pool and beach days. <laughs> I've had well, that's right. You got pool days too. I did, but so we. I looked saying. at. I looked at her, uh, Jen, and I was like, "We are leaving our friend's house. That, that we are at the K Hills on the pool Sunday." And I told her when we pulled in the driveway, I said, "I love you, um, but I'm going straight upstairs and going to bed." And I think I was out, like yeah. out by seven forty-five. Oh, you were gone. You were done. It was. Yeah. It was pillow. It was mouth wide open. And on I think the I even had TikTok running on my chest. Like yeah, I know. Thing. She had a loop. She had TikTok looping. I go up there and it's like, <laughs> all right, let me go get everything we're set for the evening. And that was one of the things: was turn off the phone. Turn off the lights. Yeah, Sam usually get comes up. Get the CPAP up. loaded with water. <laughs> get my headphones ready. Yeah, you come up early, so like when you finally do come up, if I'm asleep, you don't disturb me. I try to. It's about 50-50 on that. Yeah, it's about half and half. All right. So, yes, we do have a guest in studio tonight. Yay. Tell everybody who you who she is, who you are. Right, this is my dear, dear, dear friend Jennifer Murphy. Was Jennifer Adams growing up. We grew up in Granville, Ohio together. Um, we were in, ele- you came in third grade, third grade, third grade. So yeah. we were in elementary school together, but didn't like, you know how you're in class. You don't, I don't really, we didn't have no, any no, classes no, together. No. So, but then middle school, we became friends, high school became friends. And I mean, we were good friends. I mean, we hung out and everything, but I would honestly say in college, we became even closer friends. In separate states. In separate yeah. states. <laughs> we'll get into all that. But yeah, Coming so yeah, show. and Jen's Jen's been there for the birth of children, literally for James yeah. Walker, and uh, she was key element in our wedding. Yeah, probably wouldn't have, definitely we wouldn't have had fringe napkins without oh, Jen. No, that's right. <laughs> and uh, so it was only full circle that she was here t- this weekend. Indeed. Indeed. All right, let's get the show started. All right. And it's a Sam and M podcast episode twenty four. Wow, we've made it twenty four. That's a Jeff Gordon. Um, find it at samwalkerobxnews dot com, your favorite podcast app, YouTube, Facebook. Uh, like, follow, subscribe, hit the bell, share, give us all those five stars. Hit the like and the bell things. I know I harp on it a lot when we're on the show. The like thing means a lot, but it does do a lot because that actually helps with the algorithm on Facebook. It helps the algorithm on YouTube. So it gets more people aware the show is out there. So please, every time you watch, every time you download, whatever, hit that like thing. We're brought to you by StatelinePowerWash.com, Miles Carpet Cleaning, Harlow Photography, Caribbean Pools and Spas, Coin Jock Catering Company, and CMIT Solutions of the Outer Banks. So it is wedding post. We are in um, post-wedding debrief mode, whether it's going to do something here on the show. Yeah, we have a fly buzzing around the studio tonight. Yay. Uh, That's going to be real fun to deal with. Uh, (laughs) As opposed to the bed sheet hanging over the window, so we got the lighting right. That's another thing. See, we're having to share a mic. So you're seeing all the things that need to uh, occur so we can have guests in the studio. Now the wedding's done. Guests in the studio. I need mic. I need a mixing board to mix the audio properly. We need to get something. We need to get lighting from the ceiling so I don't have these tripods hanging around that we're tripping over all the Hmm. time. With due time, honey. For only 24 weeks. We need more corporate champions. Hey, this is an opportunity. You want to help... Help make the show help better. Sam not have a bed, bed curtain. A bed sheet me. over the windows and tripods everywhere and wires running all over the floor. Hey, come on in. Jump on board as a cover fit champion at samwalkerobxnews.com. You can make that happen. 
Time for the shout outs. Uh, our weekly look at some of the people we want to thank for all kinds of different things. And the, fa- the Facebook comments alone, let's not even talk about the likes. I think we passed a thousand mark on all the posts. Between the two posts or the multiple posts, we've passed well over a thousand now just on the stuff from the wedding. Wow. So, but you have a whole list of shout outs you want to get to for the wedding itself. Yeah. So shout outs this week are a little different. Our daughter had a absolutely beautiful and stunning wedding and it went off pretty much without a hitch. There were hitches, but pretty much without a hitch, but that would not have happened without a lot of people behind the scenes. So I want to start out with giving shout outs to the people who really helped us get it prepared. Um, And we showed up, well, Thursday night, people showed up and we had, I think, five cars lined up outside. And I have no idea how many people, people just loading, loading cars, loading cars. And then we showed up to the venue on Friday and people unloading cars and dispersing everything. So and putting flower arrangements together and putting tablecloths on and anyway, all kinds of stuff. My friend Jen. Couldn't do it without her. My friend Amy Ennis. Jenny. Jenny got Jenny left Holden Beach at 5 in the morning to be here by 10, 1030. She helped and I was also the officiant. Um, Caroline's bridesmaids were amazing. You had Nina. You had Abby. Nina is our flower girl. Nina put them all together. I mean, they all did flowers. Don't get me wrong, but Nina worked in a florist shop before, so she knew how to open them up. Oh, I right? didn't know that. Yeah, like the other she girls did a great nice. job too. Abby and Sarah took over the um, was that what was that called at the? It was called something special, Ground Arbor. Ground Arbor. So they did a beautiful yes. job with that, but Nina really helped um, with that. Brooke, Brooke was amazing. Brooke just went around. Brooke is just. I love, I love all the girls. And Brooke is just like, where do you need me? What do you need me to do? And she found stuff to do. I just love it. Um, Liz was there. Um, Franzi and Dominic were in from Germany. They are a family of, extended family or um, cousins, I think, of Glenn. And um, Dominic owns, I didn't know this till after, because he was really getting into the flower arranging. What is it he owned? What was it called? It was like um. But he did a great job on those flowers. Yeah, but he does like he does like yard landscaping and stuff. But he's like oh. the architect designer of it. Oh, architectural landscaping. Yeah, oh, yeah. he okay. does that. So All he right. was like his eye was amazing. Franzi was like getting the glasses like so the the colors matched. Um, Franzi and Dominic are the wedding in Germany that Caroline and Ian went to where Caroline got engaged. Um, let me. I don't want to miss anybody. Dan and Kathy. Dan was on it, like drinks were iced. Kathy was like, what can I help? Like she was getting her dessert stuff set up because she made amazing desserts for Mm -hmm. um, rehearsal dinner and um, rehearsal dinner and the the wedding, the reception. But she was awesome. Um, My aunt, my my aunt, aunt Sarah. (laughs) But my sister Sarah was up at 530 that morning. Sarah had planted flowers hoping specifically that they would be ready for the wedding and they hadn't really opened up yet but there were a few but it was a lot of greenery she, and she bought and aunt sarah bought peonies for her niece Beautiful even though peonies. even though i was like i'm not spending but sarah said she didn't spend that much on it but they were gorgeous so we were able to have a peony in about every arrangement which was pretty cool and just a note my peony trick half worked half didn't of cutting them and putting them in the refrigerator um, so we were able to get some of them. I think if I had the ones that didn't work, I think I picked too soon. Um, and last but not, no, two people. Pat Straub was the bartender at the wedding. She was freaking amazing. Everyone's like, she had a good pour. Yeah, she did. <laughs> oh, yeah, she did have a good pour. She did have a good pour. And Almost she, a little too good. <laughs> she had never been a bartender before, but Liz asked her had last like in the last week or so, hey, would you consider just coming to me in our bar? And she rocked it. She yeah. was amazing. And then last but not least, and I know this is going to seem silly, but truly one of the biggest helpers of the whole thing was Glenn keeping Harper in Water Lily. So we didn't have to worry yeah. about where Harper was or if she was getting into anything. And so um, poor, I think they call him Pop Pop. I think poor Pop Pop got stuck with <laughs> Harper on Friday yeah. and Saturday, but he, they love each other and have so much fun. So um, yeah, so those are those are the shout outs. I, if I missed you from the helping with setup, I apologize, it's not intentional. 
but those people, y'all just helped it come together. My daughter would not have had, and my son-in-law, sounds weird, would not have had as beautiful a wedding as they had because we just did so much on our own. And um, so I just want to say thank you from the bottom of our heart. Indeed. Like, really, thank you. Yeah, I mean, we, I can't say it enough. And uh, those of you watching on Facebook and YouTube probably seeing that Facebook's giving us some issues with our photo galleries tonight. So uh, we're getting, I haven't even gotten to the wedding stuff yet. Whoa. Okay, yeah, let me go back to that one because I remember. <laughs> Those of you listening, it's the first look for me. There you go. All right. I got a. Somebody, was it you who said you have the pictures from up top? They're on Caroline's phone. Okay. I had her phone oh, okay. in my yeah. hands, and I thought I was taking them on my phone. I got you. It's hers. So, anyway, I know that. Didn't sound all that great for those of you listening on the podcast, but those of you watching on Facebook and YouTube, uh, just seen that was the video first look. I, that was we didn't get a lot of video. I know I've got the video up on my Facebook page of the first dance for Caroline and Ian. Our for, uh, well, we didn't have a vi- we did not but we did go. not do a videographer. That was my thing. Which but you got some video. There's Waylon doing his dance. Oh, we, we decided Waylon had the best fun, the most fun of anybody. Yeah, I think Waylon did have the most fun. And the next morning, he told Megan and James, he's like, my legs are dead. I don't think I can walk. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, but thank you, thank you, thank you. We're going to talk more wedding in a minute, but those people, it's just, it's, those are my shout outs. So thank you. Oh. All right. Okay. All right, so there's uh, the shout-outs. Uh, of course, uh, special shout-outs to our pal Justin Bateman over the Outer Banks This Week.com podcast. Cap Marty and his daily fishing report and weekly stories. Find those on the Outer Banks This Week.com uh, on their fa- podcast pages. And our buddy Tony Lombardi at walkingangler.com. Uh, I want to say there's special shout-outs. I always like to hit them up uh, here on the show. All right, uh, yes, audio is going to be a little wonky, so just uh, bear with us. Uh, when it comes to that stuff for today's show. We're having too much fun here, trying to get too many things done. It's what happens when you don't have a producer and you're doing it all yourself. But first, let us thank... Th- that's not happening. I'm not, I don't care how much we... Uh, how many corporate champions we get. We're doing the show ourselves. We're doing it live. That's how we do things here. <laughs> Time to thank uh, State Line Power Wash, pressure washing, soft washing, painting, concrete, floor ceiling. They do now so much more than just that. StatelinePowerWash.com, locally owned and operated by Parker and Smith Hammer, grew right up here in Curry Tuck, a local staff. So you know you're keeping it local with Stateline Power Wash. Their unique soft washing technique also cleans up the pollening of your roof, siding, and driveway. And don't forget about the gutters. Got okay, garage floor, needs a new coating, right? Well, they use a polyaspartic seal, the same stuff used in commercial kitchens and concrete seals. And coatings are the finishing touch for any outdoor space whether it's a patio whether it's a pool pad or driveway you're walking around uh, nicking your toes or your knees are all getting scraped up because you're trying to bend down to do chems checks and clean out skimmers on the pools and your knees come up all Don't scarred up problem. no problem if you get state line power wash come out and do that coating uh new services as well uh, installing permanent low voltage landscape lighting they do landscape drainage collaborative custom designs for their clients and Running out of time to become the next Clark Griswold in your neighborhood with their holiday lighting installations for this fall and winter. Smith Hammer also at Kingdom Real Estate Services, so you can buy, sell, home, or land with Smith and receive a free house wash, roof wash, and deck cleanup all from State Line Power Wash. And check out the Moyoc Real Estate Market Face Group book, the spot to be for local Moyoc real estate. Over 175 five star reviews on Google. Highest rated in Moyoc, you know whatever you have, State Line Power Wash do for you. It's going to be top notch from Moyoc to Manio, Eden to Naduck. Schedule now with State Line Power Wash at statelinepowerwash.com. And thanks to CMIT of the Outer Banks, when it comes to managing your business, it's important to have the right technology. That's why CMIT works to help businesses. Short for Completely Managed Information Technology, CMIT offers everything a business needs. 
Their services include tech support, computer and server security, cloud backup, secure Wi-Fi, business phones, and more. With CMIT's help, your technology will stay up and running. For for more information, go to cmitobx.com. They just had some kind of special... Oh, yes, they did. Dinner, or what was it? They did something. Talking over the bumper, which, hey, who cares? It's not like we're on radio. Uh, yeah, so they were doing a uh, fantastic dinner. Oh, so the whole team at CMIT Solutions. So, of course, drop in the uh, shows drop on Thursday, record on Wednesday. Uh, they actually went to Lost Colony yeah, on Tuesday, did dinner at Bass Night's Lone Cedar, yeah. and then uh, went to see Lost Colony. On, uh, uh, I believe, last night. Yeah, Wednesday, uh, Tuesday night. So, anyway, uh, Scott DeMassey, thanks so much, Scott, for being one of our first corporate champions here at SamWalkerOBXNews.com. And, uh, yeah, they got some cool photos up on uh, their socials right now. So, more, 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 more wedding stuff. Let's. What do you want to get into as far as that goes? Tell me. I don't know. Um, let's see. It was beautiful. It was. It was beautiful. Not going to lie. We did a good job. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, we did. We did. No, we (laughs) all did. Um, I am amazed. Actually, really, we talked. We spent a lot of time talking to. We had it at Loblolly Estate in Jarvisburg, right? Yep. And we spot Jen and I, like, the day after the wedding, we went. And by the way, like, everyone, like, when the wedding was over, Everyone, like, n- uh, we didn't ask. People just started moving the flowers to one table, moving, taking tablecloths off, moving. We, we, we didn't even have to take the tables down or put the chairs up. But everyone, that place was all organized and cleaned up that when Jen and I got there on Sunday, really, truly, and for, if we had had, like, both driven a car, in 45 minutes, we would have been out. Well, you know, you, you've jumped already ahead to the end there. Well, no, let's I, get know, to no the end. I know, no, I know, I know. But what I want to say is we talked to... We talked right. to, we ended up, oh, we would have been out much sooner, but we were talking to Renee and her, God, God what's his name? I'm not going to remember. Anyway, the owners of Loblaw, like super, super nice people, like super, super nice. Mm-hmm. And she, I think from what I gathered, tell me if I'm wrong, but I really think we're one of the only weddings she's seen or the only wedding that it was more the family putting it together. Yes. Than a um, wedding planner and hired vendors for everything and yeah. yeah right yeah we talked about that in fact I stopped by there today uh, on the way home from uh, pools and and talked to him about we got our deposit back got our deposit back first <laughs> off um, but yeah that she said it was the uh, probably the the first wedding that they've had that it was totally a family and friends everything just about everything by and that how smoothly it went how just immaculate was the flowers were amazing she talked about one of her brides from greenville and it was a florist did all the flowers herself and just really just ran herself ragged and wasn't able to enjoy it and that was one of the things we were worried about was you know how much we were taking on ourselves i think you were more worried about it than anybody else you weren't going to get to appreciate and to enjoy the day and i did but i I did because I have great friends. Yes. Like, and, and, and we had great bridesmaids and everything, but Jen and Amy and even Jenny, like, cause she was the, I say even in the sense that she was also the, um, you know, the officiant, like they were able, there were a few critical things and they were like, go, we got this. We'll, we'll figure it out. And, um, so I did get to enjoy the day. I got to even come home and have lunch before the wedding. Um, I was worried about mom and how that was good. Just the logistics of getting mom there. Not in a bad way, but Jane got mom. They actually left early. We were there early, half an hour early. Yeah, so they were there. And, um, you know, we were able to just have I – w- I was really wanting to be there for your first look, and so I got to be there for that. Um, so my point is that Renee made a comment when we talked about us being – she said, you're really the only ones who've done it like this. Yeah. She said um, – it was nice to see you all on Friday kind of interact with each other, but it was love. You know, you could feel the love everyone had for Caroline and Ian and each other. And just to see that camaraderie and kind of pulling mm-hmm. it together versus just a bunch of people coming in, putting on tablecloths, putting down, <coughs> yeah, putting down flowers and then leaving. Right. Like the girls were like, well, what do you think of this looks? And 
then there we were going behind and snipping stuff like you know it it just i don't know it it was good and it wasn't nearly as stressful as i thought it would be like i do think no it wasn't no i do think you and i did a pretty good job of getting as many little tasks done before like even Early. just the little punching the holes and putting the strings through, right. putting the labels on the water and having that done. Yeah. Like, I think we did, I'm not trying to pat our backs, but <laughs> I think we did a good job that a lot of the medial tasks we were able to mm -hmm. take care of ahead of time so that it was just an easy, those things made the, what do you call, what do we call that? Assembly line yeah. process a little bit better. Renee and Gavin Winty are the yes. owners of Wawali Estate. Uh, it's located uh, on, um, I always want to. I always want to call. It's Jarvisburg Road, and then it becomes South Bayview. In Jarvisburg, it's technically in Powell's Point, but anyway, I want you know. It's like talking about Sligo and Snowden and all that stuff. We'll get that. We'll get that deep with you. But if you've not been out there, it is a beautiful place in Lower Curry Tuck County, right on the Sound. And it, I was curious how where we were doing the wedding itself, and because I didn't hadn't done any of the. My first time there was during the whiteout party right. in the middle at night. So I didn't really get to see it. Didn't understand quite how we were doing the wedding. But the, having the backdrop, which was the marsh, mm -hmm. even though this, I mean, I, I guess what did y'all talk about? There was another place we could have mm -hmm. done it, which would have been on the water. Yeah, but it was going to be too far. Like, it was really, way too far. Yeah. Yeah. It, we didn't want to have the guests walking that far. We had grandmothers that yeah. we already had to have brought up with. I mean, I'm not golf being funny, cart. but yeah. the golf cart, like. And it was gonna. It wasn't four thirty. It was still a little warm. That sun was still. Yeah, and the wind kept whipping, warm. wanting to go back and forth between onshore and offshore. Which that at in the afternoon in that part of the county or around the marsh ends up being. And I found that out because as soon as I got out, we're there. The finals things were moving things around, and sure enough, I had a yellow fly land right between my nose and my top lip and bit me. Didn't I had both hands full of stuff. But where we did it, being around the marsh and all that stuff, the mosquitoes and the yellow flies, all that. But it turned out perfect. It had the marsh as a backdrop. And there's the, a pond right there's there. There's a pond there. The guys, the guys got to do the fishing thing. They were catching big fish. I'm like, I mean, could James you all help? Yeah. Could you help? Yeah. We have a few things to move. And yeah. you said to me, I started yelling at them because I was like, boys, Eli, go. And you're like, it's, you went like this. It's worthless. They're fishing. Just leave them Yeah, alone. just leave them alone. Let them have their thing. Which was actually some pretty cool photos came out of that. Some yeah. great photos came out of that. The photos that uh, the photographer put up. I, did you give a shout out to the photographer? I have, well, I haven't gotten to. Okay, you got that. Okay, I didn't know if you had that or not. Okay, all right. The folks that all did but things. But you are going to have to give me their names because I just wrote photographer okay yeah i'll make sure i get that because it's, it's tagged up on so, it's tagged up on the facebook so. let me see my top uh, let's let's do this let's do our top three top three momentous things that we liked about moments, the wedding yes. moments um one of my favorites is harper jane during the ceremony like she was in her own little bubble with her mom and her dad and she was picking flowers or laying on the ground like playing she was pedals. yeah playing with her pedals she was un unbothered by it you know she was doing mm -hmm. her thing so i love seeing the three of them up there doing that um i didn't know till friday that caroline wanted us both to walk her down the aisle so i thought that was pretty cool yeah that was i didn't know that i mean you told me that, i didn't and I was know because like, i'm sitting there thinking night. how are we going to do the whole you know who gives this all that stuff which we really didn't even do that as part of they didn't write mm -hmm. that in which was fine i had been thinking about that all week had never really even you know, thought about that. So yeah, that was, that, so, was, that was, that was so us. If you yeah. think about it, cause it's a team effort. What we do is a team. Well, effort. truly I'm the, I'm the captain of the team. So really, I should. Well, yeah, it's, I, I said, it's a team effort, <laughs> but yeah, um, there's only one Sam's captain. On the I'm team. the captain now. Yeah. And it. then just at the reception, just seeing people get on that dance floor, seeing people, Caroline really wanted people. And I didn't really grasp the concept and I know not everyone did, but it was really fun to see different people up there dancing, different songs. People like, oh, I know the song running out. And I don't know. That was just cool to see people who don't even necessarily know each other. Like you bond for just a couple of hours. So those were my favorites. Okay. Dad. That's it? Well, I said top three. Oh, top three. Okay. All right. Sorry. I was trying oh, to find I was trying to find the photographer's name. Make sure we get the photographer's the promo they need. I could oh, I want to add Waylon in there because he was a very professional <laughs> professional member of the wedding party. Waylon? He knew what his job was yeah. and he was gonna get it right. He and did. we didn't really talk about Harper. I mean, Harper did pretty much lay down right there at their feet the whole time. I and mean, she didn't do anything. 
She, she didn't do anything inappropriate. She didn't think, right? yeah. No, she wasn't crazy, but no. she was just she was there Harper. to have fun and, and be in her pretty dress. And You could tell which grandchild's feral and which one's not. Waylon <laughs> did not leave his daddy's side, he, but he was good. He wasn't like... No, he absolutely yeah. knew what he was supposed to do, and he was going to rock it, and he did. Yeah, he did. And he let us know he was a cool dude when he had oh, his yes. shirt unbuttoned and his sunglasses on. He's like, I'm cool, his Grandma. His wedding glasses. Yeah, his wedding glasses. Uh, top three for me. I tr- I, it, one thing I will say, and part of that probably by design, part of that being it was, you know, I was, I don't know if I, if I had any specific moments. I mean, the first look moment was really cool to do that there in the, in the, uh, in the foyer. foyer. Thank you. Uh, the lobby. I wanted to call it the lobby. The foyer uh, of uh, the house there at Loblolly Estate, but we talk. We I I go back to our wedding, and it felt very much like that because I don't recall a whole lot of the lead up or the aftermath out of the lead up in terms of the like setup and all that stuff because we were also involved with doing everything that had to be done to make it happen. It was kind of had that feeling, the same feeling. I don't know. Did you feel like that? Because, I mean, you were coming in from the alley. You got here on Wednesday. Yes. So you've kind of been, like, thrown into it at the last minute. Did you? I mean, that's what I kind of felt like. It was kind of felt very similar to our wedding. I so. think a lot of weddings are like that. No matter how much you do on your own, there's yeah. that last minute push and craziness just to push through to the end and get there and get everything the way you want it to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, that moment, I, I think, too, there was the moment – I think you know what the the moment before we walked before we started down the aisle, just the three of us. Yeah, that you know, was kind of. That was kind of yeah, it was it was, and you know we think about who's not here to take part of, and unfortunately my parents were not able to be here. Uh, Dad suffered an injury, had to have surgery, and a fractured pelvis. In case you didn't know, uh, mom was with him, been through it, with, and he had had a rough night, and she just was not up for it physically. Uh, to be there so unfortunately they weren't able to be there but she's seen all the photos and video that we've been able to, to post up on the socials and, and also uh, they've got to take part of it but you know we had the memory table we had Jonathan's picture there your dad's picture there your grandparents picture there um, Dan's daughter Dan's daughter there, yeah Dan's daughter Ian's yeah. Grandpa. yeah so you know it was, as much as we didn't have everybody there we'd want to have there we still had everybody there. Did you know on Caroline's bouquet was so tell 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 everybody about that because I, I I know I didn't know who all was there. I knew we had a picture of John, but tell everybody how that kind of came about. And do I you even saw know? a TikTok. <laughs> okay, you saw a TikTok. I mean, okay. I've seen other yeah. places where people have done that. Too. Someone right. they want to have with them that's just not there. That but yeah, but I mean, how did so that, we just on her we bouquet pulled that off? Yeah. Oh, we pulled it off. We're not going to discuss that, right? Well, we had pictures that we were going to use for that memory table, uh-huh. and we had one printed just a little bit smaller and and put it in this. It was like a... You and Sarah did it. I don't know right? what you'd call the thing that we put it in. I ordered lock- it. They, they were like lockets. Lock- they were lockets. Kind of like a locket. Yeah. yeah, it doesn't yeah. open, but it had right. like... And then clear... Um, so they're like mini picture frames, yeah, really. They're like, like a mini, mini picture, picture frame. Frames. Like a clear so, marble almost that you put over it to kind of seal it in there. Yeah, so <laughs> Caroline was funny, though, because... We had printed some other ones, and she's like, who picked these pictures? These are not the ones I want. I was like, well, could you tell us what one you want? Like, she didn't mm-hmm. like the picture, but uh, we got the picture that she wanted. And so it was like a little mini picture frame. Um, had a little piece of bubble, like not glass, but plastic that looks like glass on there. Yeah. And then we took green ribbon and tied it around her bouquet. And so Jonathan was with her. I know the cutter, I was kind of, I, I never got to see. I kept seeing this little blue box around with like we two knobs on it. We ended up not using it. Uh, not yes. using it, I just used no, scissors. just used scissors. Okay. Yep. All right. I saw that and I was like, what is that? So here's the thing. Jen is like Maverick. Is it MacGyver? Jen MacGyver. is like MacGyver. <laughs> like for anything, for accounting, for ever since we've been, Jen is going to figure it out. Yeah, the yeah. engineering stuff, that kind of stuff, crafting stuff. Jen's going to figure it out. So Jen and Sarah, who I call Caroline's, um, Jen, Jen friend. I'm like, that's uh, your Jen. Yes. Sarah and Jen sat in our kitchen and cut it and we figured out the glue because we couldn't find hot glue, but I found no, clear, clear glue. Elmer's glue yeah. thanks to the resin parties. And y'all put it together. We put the green ribbon around it and it was good to go for the for the ceremony the next yep. day. Well, when the flowers came, we put it all together. But, um, which I forgot I had the green ribbon until that night, so it all worked out. It's perfect. But anyway, anyway, so that was a good... That was good, Great. and um, I just got somebody just tried to hack my Twitter account from Kuala Lumpur. <laughs> just 
to change the password. Sorry. Uh oh. Yeah. <laughs> they want to be ass. like you, Sam Walker. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So porn. So <laughs> we're in the middle of talking about our daughters. Wedding. I know that, but I'm saying, all right, you, um, you continue to talk because I've got to fix this. So right let now. me let me throw out some things that um, Pox Asian Fusion from the beach did the um, food. They were there when, when we got there Saturday morning. They were there by nine. They were there to drop off some of their equipment and kind of check the place out. And yeah. Yeah. And sure they, they do. Were ready. Lob Lolly does not have a kitchen. Like you, the, the caterers all have to set up kind of like their or own a out, prep area. Uh, no, not even yeah. a prep area. But they rolled with it. They did a great job. The, the food was good. So do not get me wrong. The main courses were good. We had three main courses. Um, but the appetizers, everyone is still talking about the spring rolls, the um, dumpling, like it was a dumpling, right? Like fried dumpling type thing, yeah. Yeah, and then the they sashimi, sashimi. Yeah. Meat. Yeah. The sashimi tuna. People oh. are still talking about, like they're talking about all of it. But those appetizers, I could have like eaten that for a whole meal. Yes. Shout out to Pac because Pac made sure I had food as I was going. I would uh, forgot what I was running. To. I had been in suit and tie, and was going back over to get everybody and he like hands me one of those wontons oh that was that that hit right at the right spot we're uh, in the wedding party those appetizers don't always happen Seems yeah like the thing that the bride and groom always miss too is the and the someone appetizers. made sure that they had some, that is yes. the one thing caroline said she didn't get to have the food until after like i had it the next day to but leftovers they did make sure that they got but some. they had some of that um the ice guy i don't even know what the company is called easy ice okay freaking amazing you can talk about that or are you doing your Twitter thing? So no, he's doing I've Twitter. Got that. No, I'm, I'm, I'm logging on easyiceobx.com. So they were amazing. They dropped off, and I think it was like $300, which I know y'all will sound like a lot for ice, but it's not because, Mm-mm. again, they at Lob Lolly do not have – they don't have freezers. They don't have refrigerator space, so people have to buy bags and bags of ice, and then you have to have coolers and coolers of ice. So, like – and a lot of it gets wasted because they it's melting. So we had this ice cooler dropped off. We could use it all day Friday, all day Saturday, and then they picked it up Sunday. 1,200 pounds of ice. Yeah, but it was – So a, it comes in a trailer. Yes. And then so it lasts for, I mean, that thing, you know, I would, we were sitting, it was I was still filling good up. On, somebody checked it on Sunday. Mm-hmm. And it was yeah, still it was good. still good. Yeah. I wish I'd gotten there to fill up my coolers again. So I was <laughs> filling up my coolers every day with it. Um, And Dan and Kathy did that. They got the yeah. ice, but they were on it and it was really easy to, to do that. So the right. ice, what were they called? I'm sorry. Easy ice, OBX.com. So easy ice. And as a matter of fact, we were the first wedding that they delivered to for there. And Renee was so impressed. The owner that she was going to call them and be like, um, talk to them, but she wanted to put them on their preferred yeah. preferred vendor list. Because right. the guy was super nice, too. Yeah. Just dropped it off, not a whole lot of anything. And, and you know, we kind of cross paths with them out at the different houses when we do pools because people will get the daily ice delivery service. They put mm-hmm. a Yeti cooler at the house. They do chain it up to, like, the fence or to the, you know, the way so nobody can get in to get, take off with okay. it. Uh, and I they also do cracking up at you. <laughs> oh, you have an alarm for cat litter. Somebody has to take care of it. <laughs> I am cracking up. Save that. We will get to that in a bit. <laughs> that is so my gem. I have alarms for everything. That's funny. Um, the cake girl, beautiful yeah. cake. She deli- had to deliver on Friday and was panicked because it was buttercream and starting to melt. Um, but luckily we were able to get it into a fridge until after. And then Megan and James kept it and we brought it back. Do you remember her name? I the wish cake, I could. I wish I, she is the pastry chef. Isn't she the pastry chef at Blue Point? Red, Blue Point or Red yeah, Sky? Blue Point. No, no Blue, Blue, Point. Blue Point. She's at Blue Point yeah. and Duck. Yes. So she, and she went to school with Caroline. Like I think it's yes. the same age as Caroline or James right. in there somewhere. Um, sweet girl. So, um, I'm sorry. I can't remember your name. <laughs> I will try to tag you though. Um, Lob Lolly we've talked about, um, Naomi Cully, photography. Yes. She and her husband did it. Freaking amazing. We did not have... Um, so at our wedding, we had your cousin Glenda had gotten married two weeks before yeah, us. Kevin, yeah. Kevin. Uh-huh. And he's a photographer. Yes. But they went on a... Like, they left and went on a European vacation, literally got off a plane in Charlotte and drove to our wedding. Yeah. And we hadn't really gotten a photographer. Your mom had said, hey, can you do it? Like, back in the day, I guess we didn't think about it. So we do have... We never... We never did anything other than the little books that he gave us. I've never had any of our wedding pictures blown up or anything right. done with them. They were great, so don't get me wrong. Yeah. But she and her husband, just the few things I've seen, they were a pair. When Caroline said, you know, you know, we're going to do one with two, it, mm-hmm. they did Caroline's 
engagement pictures and this pic- these pictures and having two there and they were personable they were funny oh and they were leading like when i was in changing and ian was getting dressed and inside the cabin where the guys are uh i mean he's in there directing ian how to do these different shots i had james i did one a couple with james uh putting on the cuff links oh, i didn't know that yeah so i said hey can you get this because i knew those were some of those things that you're gonna want i wish i now wish i hadn't said it because then you would have seen it and surprised but yeah <laughs> anyway uh, so yeah, just, uh, I've got, uh, got them up right now. And they were so personal. Tell your favorite, tell your favorite photographer. My favorite photographer moment, moment with Caroline, <laughs> Caroline on the dance floor, having a great time, having so much fun. And I'm sitting right at a seat on the edge of the dance floor. And suddenly her glass bottle just hits the floor. Of course. As she's <laughs> dancing in her bare feet and Caroline stops. So she was aware enough to not move. And I kind of jump up and I'm trying to get to her, but there's a pile of glass between us. And the photographer just grabs her and picks her up and whisks her away. And it was the photog- I, and I was kind of left stunned. Like, where did she go? The photographer saved Caroline's feet, saved the day. Yeah. Yes. Just whipped her up out of there and moved her to Better. the other. She moved her to the other side of the dance floor and just put her back down so she could keep going while we swept up but the glass. The photographer was wonderful. Unfortunately, I think because of Caroline doing that, that was like the final straw. I don't think they're going to allow a glass bottle beer anymore at Blah Blah. <laughs> Maybe a good idea. Kind of makes a sense not it to. Does. I mean, yeah. It really does. Thing. With all that concrete um, stuff. The photographer was great. And again, the bartender, she was great. Um, I don't think there were any other vendors. Like, we really did not have a lot of vendors. John Harper. Oh, my oh, gosh. Yeah. Yes, DJ. John, John Harper. Harper was our DJ. Of course, been voted many times as best DJ and best of the beach. Our Jen and I saw him at, when we, we sat outside we at uh, Lost Colony um, Tavern. We sat outside yesterday, and here, he, here comes John Harper. I think he might have been wearing what he wore at the wedding. But, uh, <laughs> he might have been. Like the just, outfit. And, no, the khakis like, I, and white shirt. Yeah, exactly. It might be his, his yeah, thing. Yeah, it's his thing. But he, um, he was talking to us. He said it was a great wedding. He, he told us that there had been weddings where there was like lots of family dramas and stuff. So we didn't have any of that. No. Like, yeah. no drama at all. But it was, um, he was, yeah, he was great. He saved the day, too. Because um, 13 minutes before we walked down the aisle, we realized that the person who we were going to have pushing us down the aisle hadn't done that before. Had never done one before. Yeah. And so I looked at her panicked. I had to keep apologizing to her because I probably was snapped her head off and I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. But I was like, we have 13 minutes. And John Harper and Jenny, thank goodness, um, both doing tons of weddings, were like, don't worry. John Harper's like, okay, they're going to walk down the aisle to this song. Then it's going to be this song. And then this will be Caroline's song. It was figured out. And Jenny's like, that's exactly that perfect. And we did it. But, um, and Jen, and then John Harper, like, was like, um, the other thing, though, that killed me, he was like, uh, right as we're getting ready to be announced and walk in, he's like, hey, Instead of me announcing the tables, which was the plan, how would y'all get somebody to release the tables? And I was like, we're getting ready to do this right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. But my sister stepped in and took Well, that's over. what we said was like, it's Sarah. She'll do it. It's but yeah, Harp, too. Yeah, Harp uh, did, a, it, it did a wonderful Cots. job. And, mm-hmm. and the cool thing about Harp is because we had three distinct sites going, we had three different locations on Lob Lolly Estate that we were doing something. So he had his uh, portable... Uh, those speakers that he set up for the ceremony itself. Then he picked that up, threw it on the golf cart. They pull him up to where we were having the cocktail hour up at the house. He sets up there. He's got the music going there. Meantime, he's got his main setup already set up in, um, and that's called the Westcott Cab Barn. The Westcott oh, Barn. I didn't know that. And I'll tell you what the, the name of that comes from in a moment. Uh, is uh, So he had his main setup there. So Harp was, is so uber prepared for any eventuality. And that's what why he's been voted best of the beach so many times. And you know what? I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll say this. Harper is a voice that I've had in my head since I was a little kid. I mean, I've been listening to John Harper on the radio since I wanted to be in radio, and I was in the singles. The single digits, not the teens, the single digits. Yeah. So, no, he's an amazing Harp hates, voice. hates when I bring that up. The fact, I've been listening to him almost as long as I've been alive. But, uh, yeah, pretty much. So No, he yeah. has a wonderful voice. He was funny. We were talking the other day that they used to tell him, don't rob a bank, or if you rob a bank, don't say a word, because everyone would know mm-hmm. what Everybody you on the in beach knows seconds. John Harper's voice. Yes. So, yeah. So, yeah, and he was sweet, and he said he sent you an email saying. He did send me a short, yeah, short Facebook Just saying message, that yes. Caroline was sweet Caroline and yeah. how wonderful she was to work with. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to say this. Um, Caroline was not a bridezilla. Like, she wasn't like, no. I want this one. But, like Renee said, I said, she hasn't been, like, 
the problem has been she hasn't been like too easy too easy Mm -hmm. and it's like trying to pull teeth like do you want this do you want that Mm -hmm. and so um that was honestly that was the most frustrating thing like trying to get it kind of planned and check marked off and stuff and we all know i love a list and i love a check mark but um (laughs) She's like, oh, we'll figure it out. I'm like, no, the time is now. We got to figure it out. So um, I appreciate the vendors because I know that had to be a little bit of frustration on their end, yeah. like pox and stuff like, hey, we need that. And she gave them what she they needed, but it was always like, like the girls were um, the bridesmaids, Abby and Sarah filled out on Friday. They filled out the photographer survey of like, what pictures do you want? Like, you know, like, what, oh, what do you want? She didn't even do that part. Like, what specific she shots? Said she said, she's like, I don't remember seeing that email. So, uh-huh. like, but but the two friends that were there that are probably OCD about pictures yeah. was the ones who got it straight. Got so, it, it worked straight. out fine. Right. But I, I know that there's there's a happy medium, I think, with people you're working with. Yeah. And um, I think Caroline was a good medium, but I think she probably was a little frustrating. Like, okay, we need to draw yeah, we this. Need to this yeah, there were a few tough. things she was adamant, like, I want this, this, mm-hmm. and this. Yeah. Um, like, the as you walked down the aisle at where each row of chairs were, she really wanted, like, um, flowers. flowers. In the ground. In the ground. In the ground, yeah. Yeah, not in a, like, we had the little... Um, things you get from a florist that you put water in, like you put in a boutonniere or whatever. So we were we were out there. The girls had them all lined, arranged for us by size. So all Sam and I had to do was lay them out in the sizes and put them down. But Karen, that's the one thing like she really wanted. Like there are a few things she's like, I want this and we'll get this done. But she wasn't a bridezilla by any means. She was almost probably too laid back. But we got it. We got it. So it was a beautiful wedding. It was. I think everyone had a good time. I cannot wait. I think the photographer said it'd be six to eight weeks till they all get back. And that's just the product of photographers. They want to get it just right. They want to go in and change oh, the, yeah, te- no, the, I'm not the temperatures. Yeah, I know. It, no, I mean, it, no, it's you know, it's one of those things. Hey, that's that's you know, it's no different than me wanting to write a spot, and it takes it takes me two hours to write for thirty seconds because I want to get it just right. Or my audio editing and all those things we talked about <laughs> in the podcast before. So it's the same thing. It's a, it's a it's an art. Yes. And they want to have it just right because I mean that's the record the 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 record that you're going to have the rest of your life. So yeah. Yeah, and I think they said they were going to actually um, submit. They were like, oh my gosh, these some of these are going to be so good. They're going to submit them yeah. for the, the the it's a big thing. The wedding um, of, wedding, says magazine, wedding magazine, magazine for mm. for the Outer Banks wedding place yeah. or whatever. So hopefully, who knows? Outer Caroline Banks might wedding Caroline and me might be in there. So. Um, mm-hmm. It, the, the, everyone was wonderful. I can't. I can't say enough. We were very, I guess, blessed. According to Harper, I'm John Harper. I mean, we didn't have any. There's no drama, no nothing. We we roll no. with it. So, nope. um, well, I mean, none that we had to roll with. Everyone, it was just love and coming together. So, yeah. it was good. All right. That's the end of the wedding stuff. I promise. You think? No, but anyway, yeah, we'll probably, I mean, the house is not completely put back together yet. But we Jen do have, and I have been working close. on it. Y'all have done pretty, close. Yeah, done pretty close. So. Okay. All right. Uh, let's thank some more corporate champions, including Coin Jock Catering Company. Uh, looking to elevate that next event from ordinary to extraordinary. Look no further than Coin Jock Catering Company. Corporate luncheon, wedding reception, family reunion, holiday party, or any special occasion. Coin Jock Catering Company comes to you with their on-site or drop-off catering and you can hold your special event at their waterfront venue in Coin Jock. Plus, here's the Coin Jock Catering food trucks ready to serve their one-of-a-kind creations like the Redneck Egg Roll, Brisket Nachos, and Bang Bang Shrimp from their mobile kitchen when they pop up throughout the area and at Morris Farm Market every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday from 11 to 5.30 in Barco. And Coin Jock Catering Company still looking for help. Hiring for the hours, weekends with some weekdays available, and the opportunity to work catering events with hourly pay plus tips depending on position. Book your Coin Jock Catering Company for the next event you've got coming up. And for employment opportunities, call Louie and David at 704-502-8070. And like their Facebook page to find out their daily specials, locations, and more information. All right, and then thanks to Harlow Photography. Summer is here, and it's a perfect time to capture those precious family moments or celebrate the achievements of the class of 2025 with stunning senior photos. I've just got to break in. Yeah. Her pictures I saw from graduation Friday night, 
amazing. Yes. Stephanie yeah, Harlow, you did great. Yeah, yeah, you can check those out on our Harlow Photography socials. Yes. Um, update your family album or mark this milestone with a session that reflects your unique story. But hurry, June is fully booked and July has limited slots remaining. August dates are filling up fast with only a few openings left on August 1st, 2nd, 4th, 27th and through the 30th double check those dates um that may be that may have already filled up don't miss out on preserving those unforgettable memories book your sessions now before it's too late contact harlow photography today at sharlowphotography.com like stephanie harlow photos on facebook and thanks to caribbean pools and spas was that you early See, the bumpers are set. That, see, and that's when you don't have the headphones on, so you don't know what's going on audio-wise. The bumpers are in there for me to get all the clicks done that need to be done so that we can look like we know what we're doing. Okay, well, I don't know what I'm doing, yeah, so, so I'm sorry, so folks. Trying, trying. All right, so uh, where so are do we going? Do I need to repeat that? Uh, no, because, uh, no, that's fine. No, everything else there is good. It was just that the bumper was playing when you're saying... Sorry, thank What's you, next? Caribbean. Yeah, we'll get Caribbean next. So, all right, what are we doing next on the show? That's what my question is. Oh. Yeah. Next on the show is growing up with Jen. Okay, all right. So we're gonna push the mic in just a little closer because I'm gonna kill mine. And how about it? All right, Jen. When did it start? Probably middle school. I think it's probably middle school. Was it middle school when you had that party at your house and your mom? I threw Watergate salad. Was that oh, middle school? She was not. Yeah, no, I think it was high school because I feel like weren't uh, Greg and Tom there? They might have been. I got in yeah, trouble, so was, maybe we all got. We trouble. were friends we were in middle school, happy. but probably bet more in high school, like yeah. really more in high school. So J- Jen is just that. I'm just going to speak. So Jit, speak about it. Jen is just that friend that's like one. She's really smart. She's really sensible, and she's gonna. Tell me how it really is. That's Jen. <laughs> so I have now Utah Jen, but I have Ohio Jen and I have North Carolina Amy. You two are very, very similar and that, that I need that because I tend to be willy-nilly and everywhere. But now I'm going to cry. Aww. But Jen has been there for me a lot. And um, I remember at Jonathan's funeral, you were having plane issues and I didn't see you until after and it's like when we were walking out of the church and that church was filled with so many people and you could feel the love, but seeing you, it's like everybody else, like you were at, I can picture it, what you were wearing. I can picture you there. And it's like the world fell away. And I was like, you're going to survive this because Jen's here. And, um, it just, you just are that person for me. And, um, a year goes by and I didn't know this. <laughs> And I don't like not knowing, even though I do want a surprise 50th party, 55th party, get on it. Um, <laughs> you and Sam worked hard and surprised me. I'm the one because you knew I was worked up about the anniversary, go figure. And um, you had been texting me, hey, how are you doing? Are you getting ready? I know it's the one year anniversary for Jonathan. Are you, are you okay? And um, the morning, that was it, the Friday, morning, you came that so, morning. Yeah. You said, what are you doing? I was like, I'm in bed. And you're like, well, you need to get up. But then you came in the room and crawled in bed with me. Well, Sam was trying to get you to get up. And, and you were I like, no, I'm just, I can't today. I'm just not. And I'm standing and, in your uh, kitchen. I didn't know that you had flown in from Utah to be with me that weekend. And um, we went to breakfast. And at breakfast, like, we had bought this house. But we were still living in the other one. And I was like, I just, I don't even want to move. And right now, I just, I don't even want to do this. And um, at breakfast, we decided we were going to move today and that day and uh we got james and all the people and jen jen was like all right boys let's move the kitchen let's move that like we were moved by the end of that day we all yeah. slept at this house that night didn't we the first that we first slept night? here that night well i was sleeping down the road oh yeah you, you i don't didn't think have you chaos. slept here that night but we did a lot but by day. the weekend by the time you left um that was done i'm not joking jen was there for the birth of james like she was um she was there like i was in the in the room and the doctor said we're gonna do a c-section i was like they're rolling me out i was like jen get me my book i never read about a c-section and you're like pumpkin it's happening you know get me the what to expect when it's happening um you know you you've you've just always been there and i love you so much um so anyway 
anyway, when there was a time, like, honestly, Facebook, we reconnected because there was a time when we weren't, I mean, you know, mm-hmm. life is crazy and, um, you know, we weren't there. Well, I mean, you've left out. I mean, the fact that Jen came to North Carolina for how many years were you and Carrie? Uh, eight and or Ron? nine years. Yeah. yeah. I moved down here after college. Yeah. I, I stayed with you. Really? Yeah, yeah. You stayed with me during your, in pharmacy what do they school? Call it, your internship or whatever that is. Yeah. yeah. I stayed at her apartment. When you were working at, when you did Duke, when you were doing yeah. Dix yeah. Hill, you were doing, yeah. She didn't absolutely love you from the start. <laughs> I mean, we may have mentioned that this week. Really? But even Sam came and stayed with me a no, few times. No, she liked. Now look, I'm not being fair. She liked you, but you do have only child syndrome, and Jen you is the middle child. So let's just and developed so well. Thank Sam you, Walker. I've tried. Much improved. Yeah. No, Jen and I. I mean, I went to University of Dayton. I went yeah. and visited you. Yeah. I couldn't believe when Jen said, "Yeah, we have like taps oh, yeah. in our." <laughs> cafeteria and i was like do what i gotta come and see this the bar in the student union it was yeah. kind of shocking so yeah no i have Free i have lots parties of parties was shocking to you yeah like you go to university date at campbell we had to pay a freaking cover charge to get into someone's house party and jen's like no, what, no, are you, no, what are you, you talking yeah. about get in. <laughs> the pretzels that we dipped in french dip Oh, oh, in high school, we watched Top Gun and Dirty Dancing and ate potato chips and dip on like repeat. Yeah. <laughs> we ha- you had a on car accident dip. where your mom said you were never allowed to have friends on that street that was again. Kind of your fault because where you lived. Yep. <laughs> I tell don't was, don't you leaving out the details the, uh, about that. You got to tell if you're going to tell that. Tell no, the details. No, like literally, we were on our way to it was a drama or choir or something. We had a drama and choir teacher in high school that we loved. Mm-hmm. And they were having a banquet, but we were already in college. I think we were going back as like guest presenters no, or something. No, I think it was our senior year. It was a senior year cuz this was before. Yeah. yeah, this was before we met. So it would have been 91. You had yeah. you had made that dress that you were going to It was our senior year. That was a terrible dress. I don't know why I wore that. But anyway, but I was you, on my way to pick you up. I liked it. Yep. Jones Road, curvy, crazy road, it was a little bit wet. Spun out, hit a tree. Hobbled my way up to your house with glass in my shoes. You did. And then by the time my parents got there, my my lovely mother made a comment <laughs> about uh, something about this wouldn't have happened if your friends didn't live up here on this road. And your dad said, I'll never forget, Meg, that's oh, enough. Oh, bit her head off. <laughs> <laughs> mind you. Shut that you, down in a heartbeat. Mind you, your dad had just said five minutes ago, I am a doctor. I can fix people, but I can't fix cars. <laughs> he did. He did. He could not fix my car. It, but, didn't, it was not fixed after that. It was not fixable. But wasn't it, in fairness to you, that your brother had had a car accident? Like, within, like, a, oh, a two-week period, had there had been, like, three car so accidents or something? many accidents. Like, my my car issues compared to his were so minor that I was I was still the good child. But yeah, your dad was like, I'll never forget. And then no, your mom. Yeah, that was. But we still made the banquet. By the way, did we? We did. We got I there don't late. Going. But we still made the banquet. We're amazing like that. We are. We are. Did we meet before that summer that I drove up there with Jim Sanderlin? Did we met before that? I think I came to visit like your Did freshman year, didn't I? Yes, because mm-hmm. I remember going to a party. No, I was in pharmacy school when that happened. Was that in that pharmacy was pharmacy school? school. You had you so had you didn't come down. Later. Yeah, because we went to. Yeah, because I don't think I would have come down when I was at Dayton. Mm-mm. I may I was have in like pharmacy later school. on. Yeah, but well, because I moved down after I graduated my right. undergrad. Yeah, so you didn't meet. So we met that summer because we went to play putt putt. Remember that? Yeah, vaguely. Vaguely. You I don't remember, remember the pot pot. You don't remember the pot pot? There are other yeah. things I remember, but that yeah, I don't we remember. We remember other things, Sam, but you enjoyed pot pot apparently. <laughs> Look at that smile. Hey, now. Um, Conjugal visit. It was not. No, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Sam Walker. You need to edit that out. I'm not editing it out. <laughs> it was not. It was. <laughs> when was his visit? When you were staying with me? No, when oh. he came to visit. Like when he came up there oh. that first summer. Sam Walker. Oh. 19, summer okay. 92. Sam Walker. When you were supposed to be. Uh, yeah. We oh. had, we had, we had fun. Yeah, you did. We did go. I don't, I don't remember putt putt at all. Where, where, where did we have putt putted in Newark or In Ohio? There was, it, it there was, was like a putt North... putt in Granville off of Raccoon Valley. Wasn't oh, that Shelby there Stevens? That they, no, it wasn't. Uh, there this then. was up towards, um, it was on the north side of Heath, wasn't it? No, Newark. In the North, Newark's north, he's south. So it would have been up like on the north side. Yeah, I vaguely, I vaguely, I'm vaguely he's remember. He's making shit up. He doesn't know Newark. Oh, <laughs> All right, now we do have to edit it out. There we go. Keep I gotta click the explicit. Yeah. 
Um, Sorry, Sam. Um, yeah, no. So you guys. Family friendly me. show. <laughs> you guys. Yeah. And then Jen, when you really got to know Jen when she moved down. Like, yeah. When you moved to Carrie. So yeah. we were back and forth to Carrie. Your place at Carrie. You would come down to like, Don. I would come Je- down and like visit. Jen is the person I called hysterical when you broke up with me on Valentine's That's Day. That's right. That yeah. was rude. It, it was. was rude. It was. But no, That's Jen. Like standard guy. It's Valentine's Day. I don't I have a good gift. I'm just going to dump her. But Jen, wow. we went through a phase where we made like several of the kids' first we'll birthday st- we'll cakes, second story. birthday cakes. We did. I made birthday cakes. Yep. We did Thanksgiving dinners together. Oh yeah, that was that, that was, was a fun. big when we made our big like puff pastry cornucopia. cornucopia. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was yeah, a that. lot. Of, that yeah. was a big thing. To do. Yes. And we made like the pumpkin. Remember we baked pumpkin with rice in it for mm-hmm. on the table. Mm-hmm. Now I'm at See, the point. See, Jen's where a really like, good well, cook too. That's our thing. Is too much work. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but that. Jen worked at one of the best restaurants in the Triangle at the time. I she, did for a short period of time. She didn't like cook there, there, though. You I were there. Cook. You were on the I staff. And Her lucky, sister was lucky, there. Yeah, that's I was true. a hostess. Lucky 32. Who kept everyone in line, I would guess. I did. I was kind of on top yeah. of it. I'm not going to lie. Because this was the Lucky on Six Works, right? You were at... Mm, mm, maybe. I yeah. don't remember. When's the last time you were it in the Triangle? Annoying. Oh, ages ago. I was going to say, you ages wouldn't recognize ago. it. We don't even no. recognize it now when we Last go. Last time I was there, that that um, that location was closed. Yeah, right? I knew that because the yeah. only one left is Greensboro. I've eaten yeah. at the one in Greensboro I've a couple of times. Of them. Like, they were yeah. so good and they grew and maybe they just grew too fast. I yeah. Know. Well, yeah, restaurant. I mean, the salad dressing. Mm. Oh, the creamy balsamic. Mm. That was. Yeah. St- I think I might have that recipe somewhere. Back. Oh, you need to find it. I love a good salad dressing and that salad dressing and was amazing. And their filet sandwich was Mm-hmm. I do remember that. Yes, that was good. yeah, I remember that. That was what I ordered. I remember when we went to the one in Greensboro, the steak sandwich. Yeah, mm-hmm. oh, it was so yeah. good. Yeah, Jen made all the kids like she made like she took her time and cross stitched each kid. Like we just that people cross stitch what cross stitch the kids the quilt. That was yep. James's quilt. Mm-hmm. James's quilt. The christening uh, outfit. What's it called? Not Harriet Potter. <laughs> what's her um, name? Beatrix, Beatrix Potter. Beatrix. I got Harry. But some Potter. of your friends helped with that too, because remember I sent squares. It was like an alphabet quilt. Yeah. And I sent squares to some of your college friends. And, and was they like, did hey, it. Can you yeah. Do these? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you put it together. You did like, you made their birth announcement. You cross stitched their birth announcement. You did their oh, did um their christening gowns. I did. We did take a smocking class together, and you were like, you can't do it, Emily. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> remember and Carrie, um, we did those bonnets, and you were like, I think oh, I no. took the smocking class because you wanted to take it. And it was fun, it. but I, you were like, oh, no, I got this. <laughs> Jen's very meticulous. She's good. She's yes. good. And she's been great having oh, you yeah. here all this week. It has been great. It's been yeah, great. it has been. And Jen, so Jen came last summer for a week. Mm-hmm. Was there a special reason or you just came? I think I just came. Yeah. I needed a beach trip. And then you and the boys came. Like, so we've a done Frisco ago, for a boys. week with the with the whole family, your husband and everything, mm-hmm. who is not a beach guy, but he did good that week. He did. And then... We did a week in Montreal with y'all. Yes. yes. Was which was yeah, outstanding, fun. except for no air conditioning. Um, it's Montreal. You don't need air conditioning. I, yeah, I know. If we'd been there this past weekend, we would definitely not needed it, but... When we were there, you needed it. It was it, a little warm. But it yeah. was so cool to go there with it your was. husband who grew up there. And he, like, just like you are with people, like, when they came to the Outer Banks, yeah. like, you wanted, he wanted to show us all the cool places. Yeah. Like, the smoked meat place. Um, the hot dogs. Yeah, the hot dogs. Like, everything. Smoked like yeah. meat. The yeah. park we went. Like, everything. It yes. was just great. Um, and then you and the boys came. That was, we went for Jonathan that first birthday. We went camping. Yeah. And that's when you still we lived in Ohio. And Jeff and Carrie were with us. Yep. And they taught yep. the boys how to paddle board. And yeah. Frisco. I mean, we almost let James float away. Jen is an <laughs> honorary member of Cake. I mean, she's an honorary member yep. of my girlfriends. Um, and then I went to Utah and we had an amazing, it worked out perfect. Like Road we spent trip. like three days with her, the husband and the kids. And I, I mean, we were all together. And then Jen and I were like, see ya. And we went and had like five days, just this, the two of us. And like literally, we were in some hotels and we were in the bed, and I'm like just sending her TikToks. Well, she's sending her TikToks. <laughs> and, or we were we on TikTok then? Probably not, but whatever we sent back oh, and forth we were, stuff, yeah. we were like, we just laugh and we watch old movies. She, the other night, we watched Under the Tuscan Sun. I had never seen that before. And just like, good one. you hadn't seen it? Hello? So now we want to go to Tuscany. Old, but it was good. Yeah. It was good. Oh, we're going to Tuscany now. 
Well, I well. said we want to. <laughs> she said we. Well, I'm actually going not to get we. to possibly go to Utah next Maybe. year, right? Yeah, yes. no, not possibly. We are going because her oldest will graduate, and we're going to go out, spend a week, and um, I'm. I'm going to do whatever. If he doesn't want to party, I'm still going to have to cook whatever he wants to cook and do whatever he wants. And then hopefully we'll go, the four of us will go, the four adults will go to uh, yeah. Grand Teton or something. Yeah. So we'll celebrate Sean's graduation and then make him watch his brothers while we... Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's... Welcome to adulthood. Yeah, right, well, right? yeah, welcome, to, be, yeah welcome to the real world. It's almost 19 at that point. So, so. I just... I, I, I know I just... I love you, Jen. I, I do. You too. And I think you're love you amazing. Both, actually. Oh, yeah. So that's that's growing up with Jen. That's growing up with Jen. Okay. All right. Uh, more of the show after this. Ready to dive into something new? Caribbean Pools and Spas, the official pool and spa service company of the Sam and M podcast, is now hiring service professionals for the 2024 season and beyond. Caribbean Pools and Spas is looking for dedicated individuals who enjoy being outdoors and want to create unforgettable experiences for our customers. With outstanding pay, instant incentives, flexible weekly schedules, hands-on training, and full support from the great Caribbean Pools and Spas management team that'll back you up. Routes are available right now from Kerala to South Nags Head and everywhere in between. Call today, 252-480-2900. That's 252-480-2900. Or drop an email to alex at caribbeanobx.com. That's alex at caribbeanobx.com. Whether you're an experienced pro or just starting out, Caribbean is the best pool and spa service company to work for on the Outer Banks. I should know. I work for them too and love it. Join our team and make a splash with the official pool and spa service company of the Sam and M podcast, Caribbean Pools and Spas. And thanks to Miles Carpet Cleaning. Start the summer off right with clean carpets, rugs, and upholstery. Call Miles Carpet Cleaning and get it all looking and smelling fresh like a summer morning. Serving Curry Talk in the Outer Banks, the Miles Carpet Cleaning family has been cleaning things up on both sides of the water for the last eight years. That gets me every time. Carpet clean. I don't know why I can't do it. Their $99 special can't be beat. Get three rooms and a hallway clean to perfection, including an orange scent carpet deodorizer and Scotch Guard for just $99 from Miles Carpet Cleaning. Call now, 252-207-6707. Find more great offers by following Miles Carpet Cleaning on Facebook. Robert Miles and his family will take care of you like you're one of the family. Forget the rest. Call the best. Miles Carpet Cleaning, 252-207-6707. That's 252-207-6707. Now I can play the bumper. (laughs) All right, time to run through our running with Sam and Elm calendar. Are we ever going to get to do any of these? Hopefully now the wedding is done. I'm going to get up. I was going to do it this morning, but I just could not drag myself out. The shot got me this week. I'm not going to lie. This has been a tough coming off the Monjero shot this week. So, this week kind of made you a little yeah. sticky. Um, so anyway, the Lighthouse uh, 5K and One Miler, the LBX Running Company puts on. That's every Wednesday, 8 a.m. through September 11th. Starts at the Whalehead Club in Corolla. Plus, they got the beach runs on uh, Thursday, July 11th, and August 8th at 8 a.m. at Jeanette's Pier. And then Thursday, June 27th, July 25th, and August 22nd at 8 a.m. at the Epstein Beach Access. Vill- uh, Do you want me to read? Yeah, that? So, oh, yeah, 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 the village. Village of Nags Head, Thursday, June 20th, July 18th, August 15th, 8 a.m. behind the Outer Banks Mall. Kennekeet Shores in Avon, Friday, June 21st through August 9th. 8 a.m., Sun Realty in Avon. The Outer Banks Brewing Station Independence One Mile Beer Run on Sunday, June 30th, 2024. Limit 125 participants. I get the details. Plus, they have a Labor Day One Mile Beer Run, too. That's the, o- the OBX Running Company. Dot com. Also, don't want to forget about the uh, July 4th Freedom 5K One Mile or 730 that starts and finishes at the Kildobo Hills Town Hall. And they have the Little Sparkler Quarter Mile Fun Run. Uh, that'll start at 810 on July the 4th. 
And then the Outer Banks Running Club, uh, run down 5K Friday, June 21st, 2024. That's Summer Solstice. Um, it starts at Aviation Park in Kill Devil Hills at 7 p.m., one hour on the clock, and the goal is to finish at 8 p.m. But no person, no person timing devices. Should personal. I say personal? Yeah, so there's an AL missing there. Thank you. But no personal timing devices. Uh, watches phones, one hour on the clock. You start when you think you can make it back by 8 p.m., but you can't see the finish clock. Yeah, that's going to be wild. I, I, you know, that's what, the 21st, Friday the 21st. Are you working? I am at Tar Heel. Uh, yeah, but it starts at 7. You leave it, get off at 6. We can be down there in time. At least to go watch it. I'd love to go down just to watch that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, Barrier Island Goop's got their uh, group has got their four for the fourth. That's on Wednesday, July third. That's confusing. Seven a.m. It's a four mile run through Kinnikeet Shores and Avon. Uh, it benefits Hatteras Island Meals, the OBX Buddies, and the Chickamacomico Life Saving Station. So bailed you out on that one. Uh, details at Barrier Island Group dot com. Chickamacomico. Chickamacomico. Um, Do you know how long it had? To, it took me to actually learn how to say that. And the little post-it note I had in the studio that I had the, the pronouncer written out. Actually, I don't really see why that's hard. Chickamacomico. There you go. She got it. Like if you just, that doesn't. Chickamacomica. Right? That was how some people said. Okay. Hey. We do have an education. There you go. I mean, you know, that's. and why. So Thank why you, was GHS. it so hard they took that name off of road and made it Rodanthe Waves and Salva? That's what Chickamacomico, they the postal service required the, had them do that well, to get okay. post offices there, postal service. Be nice. Yeah, okay. long ago. Outer Banks sporting events: 16th yeah. Killer Dunes, two mile run on Jockey's Ridge, July 4th. Friends of Jockey Ridge dot org. Yes, that like one. Like that, I kudos to anyone that can run the Killer Dunes. That one is uh, a killer. All right. Uh, coming up, uh, it's not too long from now. Got to get that calf down out, right? Yes. So I have found the mother of the bride dress. That's done. <laughs> um, so now I'm on the hunt for a good calf tan for the Roper Romp. So come and knock on our door at the first Roper Romp through downtown Elizabeth City on Saturday, August 10th from 2 to 5, benefiting Kelsey's Hope Foundation. Enjoy the downtown breweries and local establishments as we dress up as Mrs. Roper or any character from Three's Company. Romp around Elizabeth City and enjoy your favorite beverages. No ticket needed. Find QR codes that will be posted at all the downtown sites to make your donation to Kelsey's Hope. Providing hope to families that have children suffering from cancer by offering support for trips and gifts that might otherwise be unattainable. Dedicated to raising awareness and funds to support childhood cancer research and support the education of health care providers with an annual nursing scholarship. For more details, search Kelsey's Hope Roper Romp event on Facebook. Yep. And I'll be sharing the heck out of it now. Yeah. Now that the, as everything, now that the wedding's over. Um, we're going full board. We're going full board. But y'all, I, one lady's already ordered the Mrs. Roper. I, and it, I'm not even sure who it was. They've already ordered the Mrs. Roper wig. They already have a caftan. Like, yeah. I'm going to be looking for the big jewelry, like the big white. Man, didn't she used to wear big white bees? All, I mean, oh, yeah. I mean, you know, we've in. got some, I, I, I flashed a po- photo up from one of the, I think this was in Newport, Rhode Island, uh, a Roper Romp. And there's guys that are dressed just like Mr. Roper with the wigs all and okay, all that yeah. stuff. No, you're going to do I'm doing wigs. Jack. Oh, you're doing Jack. It's just, it's too hot. It's August. You want me to wear a sweater vest? I'm not wearing a sweater vest. Are you wearing those stupid shorts? What the white? Oh, the the short short the white. Oh, the white nut huggers. The white <laughs> nut huggers. Now he says nut huggers. You're gonna edit me out. Op shorts. I mean, because remember, wait, if I mean the the op shorts are back. Have you seen basketball players now? Remember how they wore the baggies in the nineties? Now they're back to we're back to those. Yeah, the white ops. The blue Hawaiian shirt. No. Sam, with you, listen to me. With your tan line, do you know how ridiculous you would look? <laughs> well, I guess I can start wearing them now. No, oh, my lord. <laughs> Spray, tan. Spray, Spray tan. tan. I can start wearing them now. Easy. I already get enough talk about the green toenails. Lord have mercy. out there with the OPs, the OP corduroy OPs. Oh my lord. I'm yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I might have to tie him up and leave him here uh, so he can't go to the all right, Roper Romp. So, all right, well, but yeah, right, please, well, y'all, put it on your calendar. I just can't see wearing a sweater vest in August. I'm sorry. 
because that's what Mr. Roper wore. No, he also he had just he didn't always have just, just, just had a ugly. polyester shirt. No, nice yeah, I mean it's just Mr. Roper, or I could go as Mr. Farley, which is Don Knotts. Now he would wear more of the seventies, the Morty Disco. No, Mr. Roper was Norman Feld. Mr. Farley, Farley was Don Knotts. You know what? I've been thinking that Mr. Farley was Don Mr. Knotts. Mr. Roper. Maybe you could just no. get an upstairs neighbor. No. What was his name? Well, it could be Larry. Yeah. yeah. It could be Larry. You can go as Larry. <laughs> well, Waylon's got some sunglasses. Like the, Waylon will teach you. If you're going to be like Larry, the upstairs neighbor, he'll teach you how to undo your shirt like Waylon did. <laughs> Waylon had it unbuttoned. Mm-hmm. All right. Let's talk about what's going on. Uh, on yeah. Outer it's time to wrap it up here. On the, um, time to up. the okay. Lost Colony, Monday through Saturday, 8.30 p.m. through August 24th, Waterside Theater at Fort Raleigh National Historic Site on Roanoke at Island. Uh, the 2024 Mariners War Film Festival going on downtown. Elizabeth City every Tuesday night in June and July. Um, weekly Avon Farmers Market are back at two, each Tuesday through September 10th. And the town of Kittleville Hills has its first light farmers markets at Aviation Park starting this coming Tuesday and every Tuesday from 9 until 1 through August 13th. Uh, join the Corolla Wild Horse Fund every Wednesday this summer uh, for Mustang mornings at the farm 10 to 2. Betsy Dowdy Equine Center, 102 Young Rider Lane in Grandy. Tri Villages Market, it's back at Camp Hatteras Campground and Waves. That's on Wednesdays from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Uh, and that's going on through September the 25th. And then there's Acoustic Sunset Wind Down with live music and food trucks every Thursday through September 26th at Sanctuary Vineyards. Proceeds benefit a variety of nonprofit organizations. Uh, we've also got, uh, sorry, I got a uh, text there. Dowdy Park has got the farmer's market in Nags Head. Uh, it started today, uh, and runs every Thursday through August the 29th. Oh yeah. Cause yeah. yeah. All right. Show post the on Avon, Thursday. The Avon Property Owners Association, APOA, will be hosting a wave of upcoming fundraising events to ensure the show goes on this year and many years to come. On Saturday, June 15th, the Koru. Koru I was going to say that Beach nope. Club in Avon, Avon will be hosting a Saturday Night Fever party from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. with lots of disco music and dancing. Tickets are just ten door ten dollars at the door, and all ticket sales will go towards the annual Avon Fireworks. The Pea Island Preservation Society's annual Juneteenth outdoor celebration that's at the Pea Island Cookhouse Museum in Manio. That's on Wednesday, the 19th at 5.30. Hear the Sounds of Freedom as sung by Roanoke Island native and acclaimed opera singer Tashambi Selby. And John Buford is going to be, I know, I get all choked up about it. John's going to be on the piano. Of course, having come back from his long treatments for cancer up at Duke. Mm -hmm. And this is going to be one of John's, I think this is his first public performance since all that. So uh, that's going to be going on. Uh, Wednesday uh, at 5.30 at the Cookhouse Museum of Manny on Sir Walter Raleigh Street. Um, the Dare County Library 2024 Summer Reading Program. Adventure begins at your library. Registration begins Monday, June 24th at the Kill Devil Hills Library and the Manteo Library and on Tuesday, June 25th at the Hatteras Library. Tickets on sale now for the Outer Banks Seafood Festival coming up on Saturday, October the 19th at the Soundside event site in Nags Head from 10 to 6. We've got the story up at samwalkerobxnews.com about at that and all the details about the fireworks and Independence Day celebrations in northeastern North Carolina and on the Outer Banks. Boom goes the banks. I'm stealing that back (laughs) from places. Uh, I'll have that for you at samwalkerobxnews.com this weekend. Uh, Can't wait to get all that together. Yes? So one more thing we were going to do is just real quick, what's up next for Sam and M? What is up next for us? So we're heading to Williamsburg after. Well, I've got to go back to work. Yeah, that's true. Um, the work that pays me. Yeah. Um, so I will be going back to work. But we're, you and I are going to Williamsburg for just a quick two nights. Two nights. We, we are leaving at like five in the morning this after Tuesday. second night to get back to work for both yeah. of us on Tuesday. Um, we're going to go to Richmond to see that Julia exhibit. Child exhibit. Yep. Uh, we've got, seriously, now we're getting into runs. I've got a run in Connecticut come the beginning of August. Yeah. Uh, we have the Labor Day run that we're yep, doing, the 10-miler. Ten ten Virginia um, Beach. I'm going to so, try to, again, I'm going to get on the 5Ks and uh, the Lighthouse 5Ks, at least do the Lighthouse ones. Although, you know what? I might even tomorrow 
go. I say tomorrow, taping on Wednesday, but tomorrow. And we have a Thursday one. Uh, yeah. Oh, I don't do the beach runs. I can't do the beach runs. I, it just sounds painful. <laughs> All right, but I want to do the five but, the Lighthouse five K next. But week. we're gonna get back into training yeah. and doing that. And um, really, my goal, honestly, for the rest of the summer, it has been nice going to the beach. Even if I just pop on there for, we were only there for like an hour, hour fifteen minutes. Hour and a half, yeah. Ride um, with me and we'll go sit. I mean, yeah, come on. yeah. So anyway, so I really want to. We live this close to the beach, and so many of the past summers I have not enjoyed it. So yeah, water out here too. <laughs> yeah, I know. Anyway, <laughs> that's right. what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna do. Okay, it is the Sam and M podcast. Brought to you by StatelinePowerWash.com, Miles Carpet Cleaning, Harlow Photography, Caribbean Pools and Spas, Coin Jock Catering Company, CMIT Solutions, the Outer Banks. We will see you next time. Bye. Bye, guys.